Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aguian and here's some of the stories we have for you tonight. A tragic accident leaves a woman dead on St. Croix, an arrest in the fish market shooting, and the Jehovah's Witnesses hold a huge convention. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. top story tonight. There was a horrible accident on the Melvin Evans Highway earlier today and the Paradise area of St. Croix. We now know at least one person is dead. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this exclusive report. Thank you, Jerome. It's very sad news to report. Right now, it's around 1.30 in the afternoon, about a half hour ago, we had a very tra tragic traffic accident that happened here, Melvin Evans Highway in the area of Paradise. You see all the emergency personnel here, uh, uh, police officials here, police uh, commissioner Novell Francis talking to EMTs and detectives. Here's what happened. Both vehicles were traveling east, eastbound. Both vehicles had two passengers. Uh, two people in each vehicle. We have one person, a young woman who was born in, uh, we believe, in 1963. Uh, she is dead. Unfortunately, she is deceased at the scene. The other victims you've seen getting placed into the ambulances here. A very tragic and horrific um, situation on the Melvin Evans. As uh, you are seeing now, emergency personnel here um, extracting another uh, victim out. Uh, right there in the ambulance. This is all live as it's happening right now. News Channel 8 uh, right here on the scene. Uh, you also see um, former police chief Thomas Hanna there. Also a, a bodyguard uh, for Lieutenant Governor Greg Francis there on the scene. Um, several uh, detectives here. Uh, also uh, you see uh, Police Commissioner Novell Francis all here on the scene. Um, as we see this horrific story of at least one person dead on the highway. Uh, unfortunately, a woman, like I said, next of kin has not been notified yet, but uh, we know who she is, but we cannot divulge that. Uh, we do believe she was born in the 1960s. Right now, they're just trying to piece all these things together. If we have any more information uh, for you, of course, uh, we'll be getting it to you. Again, here's what we have. At approximately 1 o'clock this afternoon, traveling eastbound here on the Melvin Evans, we have two vehicles. Uh, both vehicles had two people in it. One woman is dead, unfortunately. The others you saw being taken into the um, ambulances right now. Here you see dramatic pictures. The police commissioner for the VIPD right on the scene, also uh, members of the Insular uh, Detectives Unit, former police chief Thomas Hanna are uh, right there. Uh, again, the men and women in blue, no matter what department they work for, they are all here to save lives. And that just shows you the impact of these accidents and how no matter what part of the police department you work for, uh, you are ordered and, and, and to serve and to protect. And uh, that's why you, hear, uh, you see various entities, even the fire department, EMS, EMTs, uh, rescue squad, uh, even bodyguards, even the lieutenant governor himself, Greg Francis here, Unfortunately, a horrible scene as we have at least one person dead and the others are critically injured as they have been taken into the ambulance. We can only hope for the best for these people here. More ambulances are on the way right now as the cam cameraman pans down. You are seeing exclusive and dramatic pictures right now on the Melvin Evans Highway. What went horribly wrong about a half hour ago is unknown at this time. But we can certainly tell you um, it's not good news here. Right now, that's all we have. One fatality, a young woman is dead, and uh, the rest injured, taken into the ambulances here. If we have any more information, Jerome, uh, by the time tonight, I'll give it to you. 
for this exclusive report on the Melvin Evans Highway. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. An arrest has been made in the recent shooting on St. Croix that left one man shot and wounded. 32-year-old Gary Morton was arrested earlier today. Let's go to Melody Rames with more on this story. Police on St. Croix arrested 32-year-old Gary C. Morton and charged him with reckless endangerment in the first degree, assault first degree, possession of a firearm in the commission of a violent crime, and failure to report ammunition in connection with the non-fatal shooting of a 46-year-old man on Monday, August 10th, in the vicinity of the Frederickstead Fish Market. Morton was arrested based on a warrant issued by by the Superior Court of the Virgin Islands on Wednesday, August 12th, and arrested at about 10.30 a.m. August 13th. Morton was identified as the person who fired two shots toward the victim, striking him twice in the abdomen. Police said the suspect and the victim had a disagreement over a family situation. Morton was held on a $100,000 bail and was remanded to the custody of the Golden Grove Adult Correctional Facility.